So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So have you uh, ever wondered how rapidly the cities are expanding or how we can quantify the urban growth with the satellite data? Well today we are diving into the world of uh, the geospatial analysis uh, using uh, Earth Engine to track the build up areas over time. So uh, for that we are using the Google Open uh, Building Dataset. So today we can assess the dynamic build up area calculation using uh, Google Open Building Dataset in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So the urban expansion and the associated changes in the build-up environments are the key indicators of socio-economic development and the land use transformation. So monitoring these dynamics urban changes over time is essential for effective urban planning, environmental management and disaster risk reduction. So the remote sensing and the cloud-based geospatial platforms like Earth Engine so offers a powerful tool for large-scale and time series urban analysis using a high resolution uh, Google Open Building dataset of 4 meters and uh, computationally this is an extensive data. So the study we're going to focus on estimating and uh, estimating the temporal dynamics of uh, the build up areas from 2016 to 2023 using uh, Google Open Building temporal dataset. So this dataset provides a globally consistent and detailed building footprint information derived from high resolution satellite imagery using advanced uh, deep uh, learning models. So by applying this user-defined uh, confidence threshold for building presence and uh, conducting an yearly filter based uh, on uh, Unix epoch timestamp, we are able to systematically extract and calculate the total build-up areas for each year within the defined region of interest. So uh, let me get back to Earth Engine. So to calculate the build-up area for any study region using Google Open Building Dataset, first we have to define our region of interest. So to define our region of interest, we're going to create a variable called target area equals to earthengine.geometry.polygon. So in that, we're going to sp copy and paste our latitude and longitude of our study region. So for example, let me select a study area here. So for example, in the layer section, I'm going to turn on my study area and I'm going to turn off all of the layers I've created. So this is my region of interest. So to create this region of interest, we're going to navigate this option called uh, a draw or rectangle. So once you click that, we have this new option here. So we're going to draw a rectangle over our study area. So your suitable uh, region of interest. So for example, I'm going to draw a study area over this particular uh, region here. So once you did that, I'm going to exit this. And in the top section, we have this new variable called geometry. And in that, we have this uh, show generated code. So once you did that, we have this latitude and longitude of this particular polygon, the newly created polygon. So we're going to copy and paste this particular uh, latitude and longitude into this variable called target area. So I'm going to copy this and uh, I'm going to paste it using control V in my keyboard. So once you pasted it, uh, next uh, we have to add this layer. So to add this layer, we're going to define map.add layer target area referring to the variable containing the latitude and longitude so it's going to convert this latitude and longitude into a polygon so which is why we are using this variable here and uh, to add this layer we are referring to this particular variable target area and we are setting the default visualization parameter and we're going to output the layer name as study area so in the next line of code uh, we're going to define map dot center object and uh, to center this particular layer at a at this, uh, selective uh, visualization. So we are using this uh, this particular code called map.centerObject and the target area which represents this particular variable and we are mentioning the suitable level according to your choice. So if you have a larger study area, you can uh, modify the zoom level according to, according to your study. So next, we're going to load the temporal Google open building dataset. So for that, we're going to define Another variable called building dataset equals to earth engine dot image collection Google research open building temporal v1. So using this particular code, we can access the Google open building dataset. So let me explain about this particular dataset. So let me turn this off and uh, let me navigate uh, to our Google open building dataset. So this is the Google open building uh, temporal v1. So the dataset availability is from 2016 to 2023. And the dataset provided is Google Research Open Building. And using this particular line of code, you can access this dataset. A small description about this dataset is Open Building 2.5D. Temporal dataset contains the data about the building presence, the fractional building counts, and building height as an effective spatial resolution of 4 meters. 
So the rashes are provided at 0.5 meter resolution at an annual cadence from 2016 to 2023. So it is produced from open source low resolution Im uh, imagery from Sentinel to collection. So let me navigate this option called bands and here we can uh, able to visualize the the spatial resolution of this particular data set the pixel size is around 4 meters and uh, we're going to specifically focus on calculating uh, so to calculate the total build uh, build area so we're going to use this particular band called building presence so the which indicates the we have a ma minimum and maximum value of 0 and 1 so the model confidence value in the ranges from uh, 0 to uh, 1 so know the model values are uh, uncalibrated meaning if the model confidence for certain pixel is 8 per 0 0.8 it doesn't mean that a la actual likelihood of uh, building presence is 80 percent as such co confidence value can only be used for relative uh, ranking of pixels and also the model confidence can vary across locations and time based on the number of factors such as cloud cover imagery uh, misalignment so let me get back to earth engine so once we are referring to a referred uh, access to our uh, google open building dataset so in the next step we're going to set the analysis resolution so to uh, proceed to calculate the build-up area, first we have to set the resolution of our analysis. So for that, we're going to define another variable called analysis scale equals to 1 meter. So we're going to set the resolution to be around in 1 meter. So in case you can use a high number like uh, 10 or uh, 30 meters for a larger uh, region of interest to prevent uh, any me memory issues. So in the next step, uh, the confidence threshold for detecting building. So uh, it can be adjusted based on the region. So for example, uh, I'm going to select this particular area, I'm going to set the confidence value to be around 0.34. So uh, for that, I'm going to define a variable called confidence threshold equals to 0.3. So that is if uh, threshold value is greater than 0.34. So we can uh, say that it is the presence of uh, building uh, build up areas. So the next step, we're going to look through each year to analyze the annual building area for each year. So for that, we're going to create a, a for function here. We're going to use this and uh, inside we're going to define a variable called year that is yr equals to the 2016. If year is uh, lesser than uh, 2024, so uh, it's going to be give us year plus plus that is starting from 2016 to 2023. So it's going to loop through from 2016 to 2023. So in the next step, we're going to create a Unix uh, timestamp for the June 30th of the current year in seconds. So uh, for that, we're going to create a variable called time tag equals to earth engine dot uh, date. So we are using earth engine dot date here. So it's going to create an earth engine data uh, date object for uh, June 30th. For June 30th, for a given uh, year using the Los Angeles uh, time zone. So for that, we are defining earth engine dot date, uh, earth engine dot date uh, year dot uh, to string function. And we are using dot cat uh, and mentioning June uh, 30. So the this particular function, the cat function, so it's uh, concatenates uh, the string 2020 with uh, June 30 to create a full uh, date string of uh, 2020, June 30. So for that we are using this particular function. So based on the Los Angeles uh, time zone. And in the next step, uh, we're going to convert this uh, date into uh, the milliseconds since uh, the Unix support uh, which starts at the midnight of January 1, 1970 UTC. So for that, we're going to convert this particular date into a millisecond. So for that, we are using this particular function called dot millisecond function. So next to convert this millisecond to a second, uh, we're going to use this uh, particular uh, function called dot divide by thousand. So it's going to convert the millisecond to second. So that is the Unix time is uh, traditionally in seconds, uh, not in milliseconds. So for that, we are using this another function. So for that, we are using uh, uh, dot divide by thousand. And the next step, uh, we're going to filter the image collection for specified timestamp and generate a single mosaic image. So we're going to uh, filter based on specific time and we're going to mosaic the uh, mosaic it into a single image. So for that, we're going to use another variable called yearly mosaic equals to the building dataset. So the building dataset referring to our open building dataset. So you can able to see here. So this is our building dataset referring to that particular variable. So based on the our Google open building dataset. So we're going to apply some filter function here. So we're going to apply this particular filter dot filter earth engine dot filter dot equals to inference time epoch equals to time tag. 
so the time tab uh, tag which refers to this particular variable so where we're going to convert this uh, earth engine object into uh, a suitable uh, a string like uh, date for full string like uh, date here for example this particular based on los angeles time zone so which is referring to this this referring to this particular variable and last to mosaic this into a single uh, image uh, we're going to apply this function called dot mosaic function and the next step we're going to apply some threshold to detect building for example if the value is 1 so which going to in indicate the presence of building and if the value is 0 it's going to indicate the absence of building so for that we're going to create a yearly mosaic so we are referring to the yearly mosaic uh, equals to yearly mosaic dot add bands so we're going to add band uh, so inside this loop uh, we're going to create a scr image uh, the referring to yearly mosaic and in that we're going to select the building presence and we're going to apply some uh, threshold that is dot greater the greater than the confidence threshold so when the earlier uh, we have uh, shown that a confidence value of 0 0.34 so you can able to see here the variable confidence threshold we are applying this particular uh, confidence threshold value so if the confidence threshold value greater than 0 0.34 so which indicates the presence of building so if it's uh, lesser than uh, 0 0.34 it indicates the absence of building so uh, we're going to overwrite as true so if the presence of building is going to indicate as a true that is referring to one and if the absence of building which going to indicate as uh, zero so if the value is greater than 0 0.34 so it's going to give us uh, which uh, which going to indicate that the presence of building if it less than 3 is 0 0.34 so it's going to indicate absence of building so the next step uh, we're going to calculate the total building area using the uh, statistical operation reduced region so to calculate the total building area we're going to define a variable called the total build area equals to the yearly mosaic referring to this particular variable and uh, in that we're going to define dot reduce region so in the reducer we're going to apply earth engine dot reducer dot sum so we are applying the statistical function to summing the fractional building count pixels so next uh, in the geometry we're going to specify the region of interest that is our target area that is our study region so next step uh, we're going to for the scale we're going to uh, referring to the analysis scale here so previously we have mentioned the analysis scale to be around one meters so let me show you that so the variable analysis scale equals to one you can able to see that so it's basically it's indicating the resolution of our analysis and uh, next in the uh, crs that is coordinate reference system so begin referring to our study region and uh, dot we are applying this particular function projection so we're going to use the projection of our study region that is our area of interest and last uh, we're going to define dot uh, another function dot get number so this will uh, so this will be the count of uh, pixel with uh, pixel with uh, presence equals to one so it's going to give us the total uh, built areas and uh, we're going to multiply uh, the building presence uh, multiply we're going to multiply to convert the pixel count to a square meters so for that we are using this particular function dot multiply earth engine dot number analysis scale so analysis scale we given around 1 to the power of 2 so it's going to give us uh, so uh, this line of code uh, is going to convert the pixels uh, count to a square meters so the next uh, we're going to set some visualization parameter and we're going to add this layer so for that we're going to define map dot add layer and uh, we're going to define uh, yearly mosaic referring to this particular variable yearly mosaic which is referring to this particular variable yearly mosaic and uh, in that we're going to select uh, building presence and we're going to set the minimum and maximum value 0 and 1 and color palettes we're going to indicate white and blue so blue it's going to indicate the building presence and the white which uh, it's going to indicate the absence of building and last we're going to output the layer name as the buildings plus year so it's going to output the layer name as building with the year for example you can able to uh, visualize in the console section it's going to output like this build up area in 2016 likewise it's going to give us an output so last uh, we're going to define uh, we're going to print uh, the total building area for each year so to visualize that so this is we're going to visualize as a raster and uh, it's going to be we're going to visualize it in uh, in the console section so for that we're going to define print build up areas in square meters plus year plus the total uh, build area dot get info so it's going to give us the info about the total build areas 
So now let us uh, uh, visualize this particular result here. So let me run this code. We're going to navigate this option called run. Uh, we're going to click run script. And uh, let us visualize the result. So now uh, let us uh, navigate this option called layers here. So I can able to see the building in, uh, building in 2023 and uh, starting from building in 2016. So let us visualize the each year here. I'm going to turn off all other layers. So this is the building presence uh, during uh, 2016. So you can able to see that. And uh, this is the building presence uh, during 2017. I'm going to turn on this layer. So you can able to see here. And uh, next I'm going to turn on the building presence in 2018. And in the next uh, 2019. So you can able to see that the building count is increasing here. Now 2020. 2021 and this is during 2022 and last is 2023 so similarly let us visualize this particular uh, the detail in the console section here so in the console section uh, you can able to visualize the build up area in square meters in 2016 so it is in square meter the unit is in square meters which is around 1,57,947.72 square meters in 2016 the build-up areas and uh, so you can able to see here the build-up area has been raised around the thousand uh, square meters in 2017 likewise you can able to see the increase in build-up area in each year so you can able to see in 2018 and this is the build-up area in 2019 and this is the build-up area in 2020 and then 2021 2022 and 2023 so you can able to see from this particular result here the build up areas keep on rising in this particular study region you can able to see here so now uh, in this video i have shown you uh, how to uh, calculate the build up area calculation using the open building data set here so we have visualized both in raster as well as in the console section here so the total build up areas in square kilometers and the link for this particular code will be given in the description of this video so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you guys give us a like and subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching.